Last year, with two of my other very close friends, Niharika and Shiv, we co-founded the society with the aim uh, to supplement students' learning in developing countries. Uh, we wanted to help social entrepreneurs who are um, interested and uh, who want to improve children's education and bring low-cost effective technology from the developed countries to rural India. And us being, uh, having an amazing committee team, we've been working for the whole year and we have successfully recruited seven volunteers this year and we split in, uh, into two groups and one of them will be uh, starting early July. Uh, we're primarily working on building a new learning center for the school. Uh, it will be served um, for the, both the students and also the local communities. And also the other part of the project the volunteer will do in the first group um, is they will conduct local community talks to help to create a policy being bad for both the students and also potential local community. And the second group were a form of three volunteers and they will be uh, teaching and sharing their knowledge about um, the, what they have studied in Oxford and also their personal um, specialising areas as well. And also hopefully we can create a policy impact for both students and also the schools and the teachers and our local community. We have a Raspberry Pi um, as a wireless router. So it's like broadcasting um, information that we wanted to broadcast and it's like a local Wi-Fi hotspot. And then we've got lots of tablets that can connect to it and then you can watch educational videos or whatever content we've put up there. So we've been working together with the research team to put together some content that we think will be really helpful to supplement the learning in school. And um, hopefully the kids will find like a fun new way to access content that they might not, they, you know, they might have not got from classes or might need some extra help in or something like that. Um, so that's basically the idea. Carrying on last year's experience, we continue to work with the local teachers and principal throughout the entire preparation process. And obviously as a research team, we conduct program evaluation to make sure that we are making a significant and positive impact on both the student's learning outcome and the community as a whole. One thing that we do look out for is to make sure that this is not another Western oriented and specifically coming from Oxford, an Anglo-centric educational value system imposed on an Indian school and community. As an example, our volunteers don't teach. We do teach and lead extracurricular activities, but in terms of classroom teaching, we work closely with the local teachers to make sure it is done entirely by themselves. I guess my main motivation for joining and volunteering for Prayog was um, I'm passionate about social justice and change and improving education for kids in India. Um, I think Prayog is a really unique programme because it offers a really sustainable and long-term approach to this problem. Um, you get prepared quite extensively for going uh, to volunteer, so we have interval training and safeguarding training. Also Teach First uh, do a session with us to help us reach out to people from lower and um, socioeconomic backgrounds. Um, so yeah, you're really well prepared when you, uh, before you go to India, which is great. Last year's project was very successful. We got a very positive response from the teachers and students of Kalia village who use this technology. And we can you know, potentially uh, maintain this great relationship with the two schools in India and potentially we want to expand this model to other countries in the future as well. One of the big pros that I think is just sort of getting tech literacy um, as like a using technology as a way of learning but also just in general because I think that considering how important it's becoming in the world it's really important to get younger people involved earlier with technology. And the hope is also that the technology we bring in to supplement traditional classroom teaching can help increase students' learning motivation, at least in math and science subjects that we are currently experimenting with. Especially knowing that we are approaching a rural village in India, I think it's quite ideal and sustainable that uh, our project will be done entirely offline. I'm really excited about it personally and I would suggest it to anyone from my experience so far.